Hey there. Around a year ago I made this iceberg image about the cancelled N64 version of Mother 3, which I posted onto Twitter. And now, here's a delve into that iceberg that I made all that time ago. I think it'd be pretty cool to actually properly explain what all these entries on here actually mean. So, without further ado... Anyone who's played the GBA version of Mother 3 would know that Flint just doesn't show up at all anywhere between chapters 5 through 7. Originally, however, it can be seen that he'd be accompanying Lucas's party in different segments of Earthbound 64. Most noteworthy is that in the infamous Earthbound 64 trailer, there's a scene very similar to one from the final version of the game. However, Flint replaces Kumatora here. It seems that Flint was going to be the one originally to recognize the masked man. Mother 3, when it was initially revealed in 1996, had no subtitle, but by January 1997, a subtitle was revealed, that being Forest of the Chimera. At some point after this, before Space World 97, the subtitle was altered to Forest of Strange Creatures due to someone holding the trademark for the word Chimera. Eventually, by 1999, the subtitle had been changed to Fall of the Pig King. If you've played Mother 3, it's probably obvious the relevance to the story that these subtitles would have served. This one is pretty self-explanatory. We know about the game's Super Nintendo development, thanks to Reed Young, and we know from many different sources that Earthbound 64 was originally developed for the Nintendo 64 DD before development shifted to the base N64. There's a character from the 1996 screenshots of Earthbound 64 that resembles NES or Nintendo from the previous Mother games. For a long time, it was theorized that this character was in fact Ness, but more recently, it's been concluded that it's more likely to be an early design for Claws, as this character can be seen with the 1996 design of Lucas in a couple of screenshots. Dengeki Nintendo 64 was a magazine that covered news about the N64. The magazine is still around today, known as just Dengeki Nintendo. Anyways, contained within many issues of Dengeki Nintendo 64 are segments dedicated to Earthbound 64 that are titled and themed as The Mother Three Times. Many of these articles delved into interesting lore, development on the game, and other info related to Mother 3, most notably having many screenshots that couldn't be found elsewhere at the time. In the files to the GBA version of Mother 3, there's a selection of unused music. Most of them are variants of songs that are used in the game. However, a few tracks stand out, such as a sad sounding song, which I'll get into later on this iceberg. Besides those, there's the Tasmili theme that was posted to a toy's website in 2000, which seemingly is nowhere to be seen in the final game. Or is it? The two-headed Kraken was an enemy from Earthbound 64 that was completely cut from the final version of Mother 3. They seemingly played some significance to the story, as they can be seen in a number of screenshots, including this one here where they've taken fuel yeah, that's fuel there. Many of the screenshots that can be found in the previously mentioned Mother 3 Times articles are very good quality. Well, the easiest explanation to the high quality of these is that they weren't actually done in-game, and instead were just pre-rendered, and use in-game models. The original Taz Millie theme that Itoi posted to his site in 2000 is very similar to the song that's found in the final game, Monkey's Delivery Service. In fact, Monkey's Delivery Service is basically a sad version of that theme. The reason these two tracks are basically the same is that the Taz Millie theme is what presumably would have played normally in Taz Millie early on, but to show the theme of corruption slowly growing, during the Happy Box delivery scene from the game, what you can consider a corrupted version of this Taz Millie theme plays instead. Since the original version of the Taz Millie theme isn't present in the final version of Mother 3, this original intended interesting tidbit of these two matching tracks goes unfulfilled. 
The new age retro hippie from Mother 1 and 2 can be seen in several Earthbound 64 screenshots. Dengeki Nintendo 64 actually speculated on whether or not it's the same character from the first two Mother games, funnily enough. Sadly, the new age retro hippie was cut from the GBA version of Mother 3. Interestingly, some textures from Earthbound 64 were reused in Super Smash Bros. Melee, the most notable example being this weather vane texture. Besides that, it's also been known for a long time that the screenshot of Earthbound 64's Osohe Castle ended up used as a reflection in many different trophies in Smash Melee. In some unused text from the GBA version of Mother 3, there's a few lines of dialogue that refer to a location called New Pork Island. Was that the original name for New Pork City in Earthbound 64? Who knows. According to Benimaru Ito, the art director of Earthbound 64, the game would have taken place over 10 years and had 12 chapters. During development, the number of chapters was whittled down from 12 to 10, and as we know now, was eventually reduced to only 8 by the time Mother 3 finally came out for the GBA. There's honestly enough material for another video over the speculation that the time skip in the game would have taken place over 10 years instead of 3 years like in the final game. But I don't want to be on this entry forever, so let's move on. Tane Tane Island, which is the infamous location in the final version of Mother 3 where the mushroom trip scene occurs, wasn't even in the N64 version of Mother 3 originally. According to Itoi, Tane Tane Island was inspired by the television series Lost, which didn't air until years after Earthbound 64 had stopped development. Therefore, it couldn't have been in the game at that point, at least not how it's presented in the final game. It's one of the few things we know for sure that was in the final version of the game that wasn't in the N64 version. Many of the screenshots available online for Earthbound 64 aren't in the highest quality, sadly. I'd say most notable are the screenshots from a toy's website he posted on August 22, 2000, the same day as the game's cancellation, as a farewell to the project. Where are the higher, non-compressed versions of these screenshots? Presumably on Itoi's computer. I don't know. The point is, it would have been cool to see these screenshots in their original intended resolution and quality, but... We don't have that. Sad. The crop circle is something that can be seen in a screenshot from a Mother 3 Times article. There's no crop circle found anywhere in the GBA version of the game, so I thought it was interesting enough to mention on here. This one is pretty self-explanatory too. For some reason, some of the promotional images for Mother 3 at Space Salt 99 were lifted directly from a couple of Mother 3 Times articles. Why? They were probably just lazy. According to a Japanese mother fan known as Excelsior, the music that plays while riding a pork bean in the Space World 99 Mother 3 demo was reminiscent of music from Mother 1 and 2. What this means exactly, we can't say for sure, sadly. Originally, the love theme in the game was going to be a variant on the pig mask theme, but with different instruments and stuff to make it fit the tone of scenes it was needed in. This version of the love theme was going to be used in the GBA version, but late in that version's development, December 2005 to be more precise, it was changed to the theme of love that's present in the final game. Much of the NPC dialogue written for the Space World 99 demo of Mother 3 wasn't intended to have been present in the final game, it was written specifically for the demo at that event. A couple of examples of what some of the dialogue there was. Mother 3 is slowly progressing along. For now, we've put together all the good bits and funny bits just for Space World. You can enjoy it like a bento. And, I think my dialogue in the actual game will go something like, Be careful out there, don't pick up and eat food from the ground. Clean Duster is a nickname given to the first design of Duster from 1996. Thankfully, his design improved by 1999, but this early one is still pretty strange. The reason he's called Clean is due to this specific version of this image of him being particularly good quality in comparison to the version that used to be available online. 
It was uncovered in 2019 by fellow Earthbound 64 researcher Echoes, who of course dubbed him Clean Duster. Consider the art styles for Mother 1 and 2 for a minute. Overall, both games are for the most part light-hearted, and that can be easily seen reflected in the art styles for both games. Then there's Earthbound 64, with its very different, grittier look. Considering Mother 3's tone and story is a major departure from what the first two Mother games set up, I think it's very fair to say that this change in art style fit the tone a toy was going for pretty well. A few of the non-playable characters in the game were going to have family members that were ultimately cut from the GBA version. The most notable examples are Lida's wife and Fuel's mother, named Tobacco, and also Nana's dad, who wasn't given a name other than Papa. It seems the reason they were cut was that they were originally involved with the two-headed Kraken, and since that wasn't in the GBA version either, well, you can draw your conclusions there. This one is exactly what it says on the iceberg. It's known that footage of Earthbound 64 was shown at Space World 97, and then that same footage that was shown there was shown again at E3 1998 the following year. However, the full amount of footage that was shown has never resurfaced. It's a little sad that even after so many years, we still can't see all this footage they showed there. Brendan Sector was a debugger for the Game Boy Advance Mother 3, which upon being interviewed in 2010, revealed that during Mother 3's development, he played the N64 version of Mother 3, as 1UP Studios, formerly known as Brownie Brown, had at least one copy of the game for employees to play, for use as reference and the like. However, Sector was reportedly not a Mother fan at the time, and any details of the contents of Earthbound 64 were very vague, sadly. One of the most noteworthy things they mentioned, though, about their playthrough of Earthbound 64 was that, quote, it was most of the first chapter with a very Flintstones feel. Whatever they meant exactly by Flintstones feel, your guess is as good as mine. In one of the Mother 3 Times articles, there's a screenshot and description about how NPCs in game had begun wearing pig nose accessories at some point. Not only would this screenshot be foreshadowing for the readers at the time towards the Pig Mask Army's takeover of Tazmilly, but also this screenshot in particular just has a very uncanny feeling, so that's why it's here on the iceberg. For a very long time, this screenshot that was among the ones posted on a toy's website in 2000 was believed to be the location from Earthbound, Onet, due to the Onet sign and the Burger Shop sign. However, upon looking closer in this image, it can be seen that the Monotoli building is just barely visible in the background. What does this mean? Well, for one thing, it can't actually be Eagle Land in that screenshot because that doesn't make sense geographically with Mother 2. But it also means that this screenshot, and this one too, is our only look at the original version of the final cutscene from Mother 3 where the Nowhere Islands were being destroyed. To explain this, consider in Mother 3, Porky's devastating obsession with the past. It seems that to push that theme to its limits, in Earthbound 64, New Pork City would be represented as an amalgamation of Mother 2 locations, and thus, at the ending of the game, ended up destroyed due to the Dark Dragon's Awakening, which is seemingly what these two screenshots are showing. All of this is just a theory, but it's very interesting to consider. If you were to visit Nintendo.com in 1998, you could find this page listed for Earthbound 64, among all the other upcoming and released N64 games. However, this page was not updated at all by the time Mother 3 was shown off at Space World 99. What does this mean? Well, Mother 3, at some point in history, was going to have an official localization. However, by 1999, the localization had been shelved, which is evidenced by the lack of official English Nintendo news for the game. Why was the localization shelved? Probably the same reason why the GBA version never came out outside of Japan. I don't know, I wish I had a definitive answer. According to someone who played Earthbound 64 at Space World 99, who goes online by the username Jinko, there was a mechanic in the demo where, as Flint, 
you could recruit some of the other characters into your party and swap between the leading party member by pressing the Z button on the N64 controller. Apparently, the characters would high-five during this, which is super neat. It's stuff like this that really makes me wish we just had a little bit more footage of Mother 3 from Space War 99. Stuff like this sounds so cool. Some of the Mother 3 Times articles actually gave some of the characters canon ages, which is super interesting considering the GBA Mother 3 is notorious for basically none of the characters having any confirmed ages. Anyways, some of the ages listed in the Mother 3 Times include Lucas and Klaus being 7, Boney being 1, Lyda being 30, and Fuel being 8. These all would have been their ages at the start of the game, not post time skip. Also, keep in mind, these are only canon to the N64 version of Mother 3. It seems that some of the character ages that were listed there may be inconsistent with the final game, but it's hard to say definitively considering, like I said before, basically none of the characters in the GBA version have ages listed for them. Hiroki Mukudani was a winner of a contest held at Space World 97, where the Mother 3 developers would choose one person to get their face used for an NPC in the game. Unfortunately for Hiroki, by the time the GBA version had released, his guest appearance in Mother 3 had been cut. Man, imagine getting the opportunity to actually be in Mother 3, but you end up being cut. Many people know that Mother 3 was inspired by a series of books known as the Notebook Trilogy, particularly the names for twins Lucas and Claus being taken from here. Could it be that early on in development the Notebook Trilogy would have inspired more in the game than in the final version of the game? Who knows. Apparently, people who attended Space World 99 were given surveys for the games they played there as a way for the developers to find things to improve on for the games displayed there that were still in development. What did people there say about Mother 3, and how did the results of the survey end up changing the game, if at all? Again, who knows. Well, this is the obvious obligatory joke entry on here. But, there's still actually something to be said about this entry. Firstly, the entry itself is a reference to this Mother 3 Times article that's about the villagers in Tasmili trying to guess what's under Flint's hat. Seemingly in the GBA version, Flint was bald as early as the twins' birth, but it's hard to say if this was also the case in Earthbound 64. Maybe he was supposed to lose his hair during the time frame the game was going to take place in. Well, surely if a physical prototype still existed at some point, one would have resurfaced by now, right? To be honest, I'm not quite sure what to say about this entry, besides, I hope it gets proven false at some point. This one is exactly what it says on the iceberg. Space World 99 didn't technically allow for people to take photos or videos of games that were shown off there. Ever wonder why there's a massive lack of photos and especially video from that event? Well, that's why. As previously mentioned, Excelsior was the username of a Japanese mother fan who got to play Mother 3 at Space World 99 and took several photos there. However, it seems they've completely disappeared off the face of the earth. Their website went down only a few years after they posted their Mother 3 Space World photos, and sadly, we've never heard from them since. The original ending is speculated to be different from what's present in the final game. This is evidenced by a toy originally claiming that the ending would betray the player, whatever that means, and also, unused assets in the GBA Mother 3 such as unused happy end text make it very difficult to know what exactly the original plan for the ending was going to be. Well, the most blunt answer to this question is that before 2019, Earthbound 64 just wasn't that well documented. There were many, many screenshots of the game and tons of information that didn't come to light until that year. In fact, I sort of kickstarted the whole finding new screenshots thing. It's sad to consider that for so many years no one gave enough care to actually document this stuff properly, but hey, at least things have improved since then. Guys, Earthbound 64 was going to be this epic platformer RPG hybrid game with cinematic cutscenes and be over 40 hours long, but guys, Boney looks so ugly. 
claws fed him crack. That's why it's actually a good thing it never came out, right guy? Well, it seems the developers to this game are actually under NDA still to this day. It's pretty sad to consider we'd probably know a lot more about this game if it wasn't for this. Strangely enough, some of the textures shown in the Tasmili Center area from the Space World 99 world of the game have some inconsistency with a couple of the textures, those being this door texture and the grass slash sand texture. These are supposed to be the exact same build of the game. How and why are there differences here? Very strange. Yotoro-san was a character designed by Toshinao Aoki, who also serves as the game's enemy designer. These characters were never actually seen in any Earthbound 64 material publicly at all during the game's development, and only came to light in 2020, when the book Pollyanna was released. One of the many artists included in there was Aoki, who illustrated the character. Upon being asked if they were the creator of the character and they named it, they said, yes, I did design them. The name of this character is Yotoro-san. It seems that this character would have been a whole species with multiple appearing in-game, similar to the Mr. Saturn or Tenders from Mother 2. Sadly, they were nowhere to be seen in the GBA Mother 3. In some of the battle screenshots, a small gauge with a number inside can be seen on the left side of the battle hood. What was this number supposed to represent? I wish I knew. In this screenshot of a snowy area of the game, it's completely up in the air as to who is actually in the center. Is it Flint? Probably, but just as likely, it could be Duster or even Facade. I wish we could say we knew who it was, but unfortunately we can't. And that's the iceberg. That was a bit of a behemoth to cover, but I hope I was able to help educate people on this game. If you liked the video, feel free to check out my Twitter. I talk about Earthbound 64 and the Mother series on there quite a bit. Anyways, thanks to all the people on screen for their part in helping preserve information on this game. And thank you all for watching.